and you sit in the front, Adam. You do the morning service on the, the time that you read the talk. No, I didn't do today. I told you today you do the after. I told you on, on, on Thursday. Yes, I do the after. The Maltese Kuru and, and I'm, I'm eating. Okay. And I, you read the talk on number seven? Six. Six. Okay. But I'm not doing you do next time if you read the Torah, I think it's on April 21. She told me she gave you an aliyah to say I'm a Torah. Toby. Yeah, but you got involved with Toby. Otherwise, you know, I would call it. She said, no, I put him to read. That was, I said, seven, I think, on April 21. April 21? I think so. She didn't record to you, I don't know, but you look at it. It's you. I didn't, I know, but normally Toby always records my mom. I didn't get any notes. She didn't record to you anything for the April 21? Check it out. Because she told me yes, and that I said, you didn't record to you. On April 21? I believe so. I mean, you know, I believe so, because that's what she, she has all, she, she gave me something for April 21. I don't know, you know, she did with this one, you know, I don't know. And they said, if I did, I know what they did. That's what she told me, that's what I did. That's what I asked her to do, she said, if you come in, you can do it. And what I was telling you, she said, what did you get from the school? She said, if you go to the state school, you will take the school to the house. She told me, yes. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach. Thank you for coming. Please rise. The first part, pages 65 to 105, will be led today by Ms. Alia Stern. Please rise, page 65. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Nathan Asach Bivina, Lepin Ben Yamu Ben Laila. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shasani Bet Salmo. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shasani Israel. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shasani Bet Chorin. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Pokeach Ivrim. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Malbish Arumim. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Matir Asurim. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Zokef Kefufim. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Rokaret Salamayim. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shasali Kotzaki. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Amechin Mezadeh Gaver. 
Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech halam Ozei Yisrael b'kvorah Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech halam Ozei Yisrael b'tifarah Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech halam Anoten le'ayef koach You may be seated. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech halam Ozei Yisrael Utnainu hoyom v'choyom, lachenu lechesed v'rachamim v'enecha, uvenei choreinu v'tigmalenu chasidim tovim, baruch ata Adonai, v'omer chasidim tovim l'mo Yisrael. אשרינו שאנחנו משכימים ומרבים ערב הבוקר, אומרים פעמיים בכל יום, שמע ישראל אדוני אלוהינו, אדוני אחד. קדש את שמך על מקדישי שמך, וקדש את שמך בעולמך, ובשבתך תרים וצג בי הקרננו, ברוך אתה אדוני, מקדש את שמך ברבים. יהי רצון מלפניך, אדוני אלוהינו ולא העברתנו, שייבנה בית המקדש במהרה בימינו, ותן חוקינו ותורתך, שם נביתך בעירו, כמעולם מוכשנים קדמוניות. קדיש דה רבנן על פייט 71, בורנרס פליז וייט. יתגדל ויתקדש מרבה בעולמה דברה חירותי וימליך מלכותי בחייכון וביומכון ובחיי דכל בית ישראל בעגלה ובזמן קריב אם הוא אמן יהי שמי רבה מבורך לעולם ומעולמי יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל שמי דקודשה ברכו לילה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה תושבחתה ונחמתה, דם איראן בעולמה, ואיבו אמן, על ישראל ועל רבנן ועל תלמידיהון, ועל כל תלמידי תלמידיהון, ועל כל מאן דיאסקין באורייתא, דיוויית רהדין ודיווכל אתר ואתר, יהלהון ולכון שלמה רבה, חינה וחסדה ורחמין. וחין אריכין ומזון הרוויחה ופורקנה מן קדם אבו הון דבישמיא ואמרו אמן יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיא וחיים טובים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן עושה שלום במרומיו וברחמיו יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן פייט 72 היום יום שבת קודש להגיד כי אשר אדוני צורי ולב לטבו. מזמור שיר חנוכת הבית לדוד. למען יזמך כבוד לא ידום, אדוני אלוהי ללמודך. מורנרס קדיש, on page 82, מורנרס, please rise. יתגדל ויתקדש מרבה, בעולמה דברה חירותי וימליך מלכותי, בחייכון וביומכון ובחיי דכל בית ישראל, בעגלה ובזמן קריב, אם הוא אמן. אמן. יש מרבה מבורך לעולם ימיה. יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל שמי דקודשה ברכו לילה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה תושבחתה ונחמתה דם איראן בעולמה ואמרו אמן יהי שלם הרבה מן שמיה וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן עושה שלום במרומיו ויעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו אמן. פליז וייס, פייג' 
83 פסוקי דה זמרה. ברוך שמר בעולם, ברוך הוא, ברוך עושה בראשית, ברוך אומר ועושה, ברוך חוזר ומקיים, ברוך מרחם על הארץ, ברוך מרחם על הבריות, ברוך משלם שכר צוף לבריות, ברוך חלד וקיים לנצח, ברוך פודה ומציל. ברוך כי כל אלוהי העמים הלילים, ואדוני שמיים עשר. רוממו אדוני אלוהינו, והשתחוו להר קודשו, כי קדוש אדוני אלוהינו. אדוני הושיע, המלך יעננו וימכורנו. פעני וחסדך ותחתי, יגל ליבי בשעותיך, אשיר על אדוני כי גמל עלי. יהיו לרצון עם רפי, והגיון ליבי לפניך, אדוני צורי וגואלי. ותה אדוני נפש עבדה, ולא ישמו כל החסים בו. והנו אמר אדוני אלוהינו עלינו, ומעשה ידינו כוננה עלינו. ומעשה ידינו כוננהו. אורך ימים עזביהו וערבו בישועתי. אורך ימים עזביהו וערבו בישועתי. בית ישראל ברכו את אדוני, בית אהרון ברכו את אדוני, בית הלוי ברכו את אדוני, יראה אדוני ברכו את אדוני, ברוך אדוני מציון, שוכן ירושלים, הללויה. נותן לחם לכל בשר, כי לעולם חסו, הודו לאל השמיים, כי לעולם חסדו. ו... 
Thank you, Alia Stern. Page one of five, second paragraph, middle of the page, Kento. Hail, 
ותצורות ולזרך הגדול מכבוד שמך הגיבור לנצח וינורע בדורותיך המלך היושב על כיסאי רם ונישא שוכנה דמרום וקדוש שמו שוכנה דמרום ומלשון חסידים אל תתרומם וקרב קדושים התחדש ובמקהלות גניבות עמך בית ישראל על כל דברי שירות ותשבחות דוד בן ישי עבדך משיחך ישתבח שמך אלוהר עד מלכנו שיעור שבוך ומעלה וזימרו איזה משהו ורחות ויודעות מעתה בידו אליו, ברוך אתה אדוני. אל מלך גדול בדיש בחור, אל העוד העוד אדון הנפלא ועוד, הבוחר בשירי זמרה, מלך הלכי העולם יהיו. התגלה בגלל השם מרבה. ואומר דבר אחרותי ויאמר יכמה לכותי ויאמרו 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 ויאמר בית ישראל בגלה ויאמר לכותי ויאמרו אמן יהי שמי רב רב יבורך לעולם ולעולמי עולמיה ויתבואר ויתרימם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתעלה שבית הקודשה ודיכו נעלם מקום אחד אבירתה תושבחתה ונחמתה ודם ירון ויולמה וימרו אמן אמר אירוע אדוני המבורך ברוך אדוני המבורך, ברוך אדוני המבורך, כאילו הוא נבער, 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 כל ידוך מהכל ישבחו חבר הכנסת. אבל בדרך כלל ללמוד המשיח בינינו, מלך המושיענו. לתחיית המתים, אל אדון על כל המעשים, ברוך מבורך בפי כל נשמה, כותו בטוב ומלא אוהלם, דעת ותמונה, סובבים אותו, המתגרה על חיות הקודש. ונעדר בכבוד על המרכבה, נכות ומישור לפני חיסו, חסד ורחמים לפני כבודו, כואבים מאורות שברא אלוהינו, צור בדעת בבינה ובשכל, כוח וגבור ענת הנבאים, להיות מושלים בקרב תבל. מלאים זיו ופיקים נוגה, נאו עזיב המכוער לעולם, זה 
We join together page 112 of the words of Shema. We welcome Adam forward to lead us in these words as we follow along singing the affirmation of our oneness as a people, oneness of our God, Shema Yisrael. 112. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Ve'ahavta et Adonai Eloecha Bechol levacha Ubechol nashecha Ubechol meotecha Asher <laughs> Ushok Becha, Uvekumecha, Ushar Tamle Ot Al Yadecha, Vayule Tota Fok Bene Necha, Uchtatam, Amzuzo Betecha, Uvisharecha. We continue with the words of Shema through the middle of page 113. Lema antis keru ve asi temet kol mitzvotai vi tem kedoshim le eloechem ani adonai eloechem. Asher hotz it tiat chem me eretz mitraim lihiot lachem leelohim ani i adonai loechem adonai loechem emet. <laughs> 
دور و دور این او کیاموش مو کیام و خیسون خلو مال خدا به من تو رو عاد کیام و دور و خای به کیام میم نمانی بنی خودی بل وار امر وی من خوی کلی آبرم چو تو نه لی بل وسیم بگن بل وسیم گویا لینو گویا لابو تینو ترین و تصوری شو تینو پدینو ماتی لینو یالام شم خو این الهیم زولات و خای زلات ابو تینو اتومی لام اگر مشیالی و نیم آخری میخواد دور و دور گادول و نور ماش بیکیم و وی Kira <laughs> شیر خداش شی به خوگی ولیم نشیم خالص و تیام یا خاد کولام هو دوی میری خو و آمرو آدای آی ملخ ریلام We rise together. We turn now to page 123. There we'll find the opening blessings of the Amidah for this festival morning for Pesach and Shabbat. We'll recite these blessings together through page 124. And at the conclusion of the Kedusha, we'll fall silent for a few moments, inserting in our own personal prayers the extra lines for the holiday of Pesach and continuing through page 128. At the conclusion of our prayers, we could take our seats. 123b, we welcome Adam Ford once again to lead us in the opening prayers of the Amidah. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Ve'elohe Avoteinu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak Ve'elohe Yaakov Elohe Sarah Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Velohe Lea Ha El Hagadol Hagibor Verhanora El El Yon Gomel Hasadim Tovim Bekone Hako Vizocher Hazdea Vot Who may be Goel Leave Nevene Hem Lema An Shemel Beahava Melech Ozer Ufosia Umagem Baruch Atah Adonai Magen Abraham Ufokei Tzarah Atah Gibor Leolam Adonai Mechaye Metim Atah Rav Lehoshia Mashiv Haruach Umorid Hagashem Mechalkel chayim bechesed Mechaye beitim berachamim rabim Tzomech nochim berofe cholim Umatir asurim Umekayem emunato Lishene achar Michamocha ba'al givurot Umi do melach, melach me mit umechaye, umat mi ach Yeshua, veneeman atal hachayot metim, baruch atah donai, 
As you conclude your personal prayers, we will find ourselves together as a community on page 133. If you're seated, we rise once again. As there, the Hallel prayers are found. We welcome Cantor Baron to the Bima as he recites the first blessing of Hallel and the Psalms that follow. And we sing along with him together. Baruch. Atoh Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kirishanu B'mitzvotam B'sivonu Hallelujah, <laughs> Hallelujah! Betzeit Israel, mi bitzrayim beit Yaakov, me amer loez, haita Yehuda, lekon sho Israel am shelotam, hayam ra vayanos, hayarden yisov leachor. He harim raktu chelim gevahot kivne tzon b'tzeit Yisrael mi b'tzrayim beit Yaakov me'am Eloiz ha'ita Yehuda lekon sho Yisrael mam shelotam malcha ha'yam kitanus. Hayar dein ti sov le achor, he harim tirkidu chelim, geva ot kiv ne tsom, betzeit Yisrael, mi mitzrayim beit Yaakov, me'amer loez, haita Yehuda, lekon sho Yisrael mam shelotam, Bilifne Adon, Huli Aretz, Bilifne Eloa Yaakov, Hahochi Hatzor, Agamayim, Falamishle Maino Mayim, Betzeit Yisrael, Mimitz Raim, Beit Yaakov, Meyam Eloez, Haita Yehuda, Lekon Sho Yisrael, Mam Shelota, Lulanu Adonai Lulanu. Yisrael, Yisrael, Betach Badonai, Ezram, Ezram, Umaginam, Umaginam, Ehu. Beit Aharon, Bitchu Varunai, Ezram, Ezram, Umaginam, Umaginam, Ehu. 
Take your seats as we wiggle our toes and relax for a moment as Kaidi Shalem continues, page 138. <laughs> It barak vit tamat vit bar vit ramina se vit ador vit ale vit alam shemene kudeshon brichule elam in kol biran abshira ta tush pagan menechema ta dami rami amava himro tikabal tzor hon huva hon dukol yisrael ko dama vani mishmai vahimro yehish lama rabba min shemaya bechayim aleinu vel kol yisrael vahimro ose shalom imromav. We are shalom, aleinu me al kol Yisrael ve'imaru. Amen. Yasher Koch, thank you very much, Cantor Baron, for leading us beautifully in Hallel this morning. It was a joy to hear your voice, and you brought the fullness of uh, of the holiday to your singing this morning. And thank you, and to Cantor Fox for leading the Shachri prayers to Aliyah Stern as well for leading us in the opening blessings, and to Adam Binder for helping us with the Shema and the Amidah part of our prayers this morning. Good morning, everybody. Shabbat Shalom, Hag Sameach. We're going to begin reading our Torah, studying and celebrating the holiday together. It's also our custom in the community to think about all of the creative kosher for Passover treats that come on this holiday. So I want you to start thinking about what you saw in the markets and reminding you, I'll tell you this, this was sort of an extraordinary thing. And then I leave you with a question. Don't, uh, don't judge uh, me for observing this, but it's definitely something that's remarkable. This year, kosher for Passover tequila. Kosher for Passover, Patron tequila. You can go in the market. It's the thing that you didn't see before. Of course it should be kosher for Passover. There's nothing special about it, but it has a hexer on it. So therefore now you'll see lots of Jews buying their tequila and uh, who knows what's going to happen, whistleblowing and flashing lights at your next year's Seder with chili peppers. Here's the thing that I'll, I'll say that's really interesting. If you are, this is an alcohol related question. If you observe kidney oat, then the issue of corn is not something that would be included in your Passover holiday. But if you don't observe it, then corn is something that you would partake in. So the question now becomes, is corn whiskey kosher for Passover? This is the question. Anybody who likes bourbon or likes uh, scotch or likes any of those things that are forbidden on the holiday and feels the liberation of freedom when they're not partaking in corn whiskey may now have yet a new hurdle to overcome in reaching and achieving that new taste of liberation because corn whiskey might very well possibly be kosher for Passover. Did anybody see anything that was amazing, extraordinary, something new for Passover this year that you never thought was possible? Everybody's good? 
Kosher for Passover pancakes, we're, we're good with that. Yeah, that's, that's some pretty good stuff. Kosher for Passover granola, it's amazing. Anything else? Yes. Beet. <laughs> I can't even say it. What? Beet vodka. Kosher for Passover. You would think that the Jewish people were not tasting liberation. Now they have to like drink it in order to feel liberated. They're like, let's make a beet into vodka. That is uh, something definitely to <laughs> behold. Yes. You know, kosher for Passover, cat and dog food. So now your pets can feel the taste of liberation. Instead, it's mixed up with matzah. That is extraordinary, right? Because the, the, the Jewish law is that you're, you're not even supposed to have any chametz that is a fit for a dog to eat. So therefore, your dog has to be able to eat kosher for Passover food. And what's your dog going to do or your cat going to do without fancy feast? Kosher for Passover, fancy feast. Or kosher for Passover over kibbles and bits. Who knew? Who knew? That's good. <laughs> I can imagine that. Very good. What did you see? <laughs> hair Kosher for Passover hair conditioner. Yeah, has anybody seen this before? That to me is like, what are we doing, Jewish people? What is this holiday that we're celebrating? Kosher for Passover hair conditioner. Because you would consume it how? <laughs> I suppose, like, by absorption. Did you buy it? All right, thank you. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, as your rabbi, I'll tell you, you don't have to buy kosher brass over hair conditioner. That's not how we observe Jewish law in this. Well, I'm sure there's many or many other exciting kosher Passover items for us to enjoy as the holiday begins. But let's turn into our Torah reading as we call for it. All those who've been honored to open up the Arona Kodesh, we turn now to page 139 as the Ark doors are open and we remove the Sifrei Torah in celebration of this Pesach holiday in celebration of Shabbat. We ask everyone to please rise. Okay. Come on. <laughs>
ریف شمید مری آوار ما بری کی دو بیا تو بی روز آن تو شالی دل کوی لود هن آب دوی کوچی بی 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 آنار یاکیت بیش بگالی جا گالی جا یاکی را Oh, 
everyone. Please take your seats. Close our blue books and open up our red books. The reading is actually going to be found on page 385. We'll just precede it by a, a few pages to give an introduction to the reading. So as you take your seats and open up the red books, I want to hearken back to one of the most powerful, compelling lines of interpretation in all of the Jewish tradition. It comes from the great Torah commentator of the 12th century, Rabbi Shlomo Yitzchaki Rashi. And Rashi asks the question of the very first lines of the Torah. He asks why we don't begin the Torah right here, as we're going to be reading this morning in chapter 12. And instead, we begin telling the story with the creation of the universe and with the creation of humanity and with the creation of the Jewish people. Why don't we begin with chapter 12, which is this beginning of the Jewish people as a nation? It's the story. It's a different way of telling time. And more than the obvious answer, which is, Understanding our origin to help us perhaps outline the journey that we take, which would be more than just an identity of an individual group of people, but it really does have a purpose for all of humanity. So therefore, we need to tell the story of how all of humanity has come to be. There's something descriptive about the origin story, the book of Genesis, is a description of how things have come to be. And as we're reading in the chapters this morning, and as we begin to count time as it has been ordained for us in these chapters, it is prescriptive. So I wanted to throw those two terms out. As we begin our reading, what it is that's being distinguished here? Because it's an important distinction. We're not beginning to tell the story today as this holiday unfolds, of which this really is the new year for the Jewish people. More than the Rosh Hashanah holiday in which we mark the creation of the world, this really is the creation of the world for the Jew. So look at the pages themselves and see what this description is all about. Turn to page 380, so go back a couple pages. And you'll see what I mean. These are the verses immediately preceding the tenth plague. Before God will unfold this most terrifying punishment upon all of the Egyptians. God has a prescription for the Israelites. God said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall mark for you the beginning of the months. It shall be the first of the months of the year for you. This is the new year. Speak to the whole community of Israel and say to them that on the tenth of this month, they're going to take a lamb to a family, a lamb to a household. But if the household is too small for a lamb, let him share with his neighbor who dwells nearby in proportion to the number of persons. Listen to the prescriptive nature of the text that is unfolding. This is what you need to do. 
It's not what you need to be. This is not how things have come to be. This is what you need to do. Grab a lamb and do it on the 10th day of the month because as we're going to come to the next verse, we're about to make an offering of that lamb. In proportion to the number of persons you shall contribute for the lamb according to what each household will eat. So there's this, you know, economy about the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a yearling male. You may take it from the sheep or from the goats. You shall keep it watch over until the 14th day of the month. Turn the page. And all the assembled congregation of the Israelites shall slaughter it at twilight. This is the command. The first day of the month is the beginning of time. The tenth day of the month is the preparation for the holiday. Take some of the blood, put it on the two doorposts of the lintel, eat the flesh that night, eat it roasted over the fire with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. Do not eat any of it raw or cooked in any way with water, but roasted head, legs, and entrails over the fire. You shall not leave any of it over until morning. If any of it is left until morning, you shall burn it. And this is how you shall eat it. This is the last part. Your loins girded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand. You shall eat it hurriedly. It is a Passover offering to the Lord. For that night I will go through the land of Egypt and strike down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, meet out punishments of all the gods of Egypt, I the Lord. And the blood of the houses where you are staying shall be a sign for you. When I see the blood, I will pass over you, so that no plague will destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. We can keep on reading and reading, but I'll stop there for the sake of our study this morning. What's remarkable about this particular text is that telling the origins of our people and the story of who we are begins with prescription. It's not a religion based on the relationship of God in the universe and how humanity relates to that immovable God. We are given an instruction. And by our instruction, we change the nature of the God that we are in relationship with. By doing the actions that we are commanded to do here, we change the relationship with God. That is the beginning of time. That is beginning of what we call history. History is the very same act of taking the particular moment in which we find ourselves and acting upon it in which to change that course. For Jews, that action is essentially hopeful, and we'll discuss that in a little bit. Our task is not to change the world as it is so that we might control and shut it down. Our hopeful posture is that we change history to broaden it, to expand it. And this is how we do it according to this. Here's where I want to leave you. Just something to think about as the Torah begins. It tells us that we're supposed to be dressed, ready to go. And look at what it says. Your loins girded. Have a sword by your side. Be ready to do some battle. With your sandals on your feet and your staff in your hand, you're going to eat it in a hurry. You're on your way to eating this. This is not a description of what our ancestors did. This is what we are supposed to do. And the question that we leave for ourselves is, when we sit down at our Seder tables, what is our posture? It's the exact opposite. We're supposed to sit comfortably, we're supposed to sit relaxed, and it is in our comfort that we begin to approach this story. So our description of how we have come to be is really a prescription, a command for the readiness of what this holiday presents to us. What we are ready for is something that the text is going to challenge us to explore, and it's something that our Seder tables have invited us to explore. And I leave you with the question, what are you ready for? 
And are you sitting comfortably in your seat? Or are you girded and staff in hand and sandal ready in order to write this next chapter of history that our tradition commands us to write? Let's begin. Let's study that together. So we turn to page 385. We welcome forward our Aliot this morning and the chanting of the Torah. Adonai Machem, Baruch Hu Adonai Mevorach, Baruch Adonai Mevorach Leolam Vayet, Baruch Ata Adonai Leinu Melech Haolam, Asher Bacharbanu Mikol Haamim, Venatan Lanu Etorato, Baruch Ata Adonai, Noten Atorah. Vehaya kitavo el haaretz asher yitain Adonai lachem kasher di berush martemet haavodah hazod vehaya kimru alechem benechem ma haavodah zot lachem veamartem zevach pesachu la Adonai asher pasach. Abate bene Israel be Mitzrayim, the Nak poet Mitzrayim via Betenu hit Sylvia Kodaam, by Yishtahabu, via Huvia Suvene Israel, Kasher at Sivadu Nai at Moshe Baron, Kenasu. Metra Tena Hagdosha, Barochata Adonai, Eloenu Melech Olam, Ashenatan Lano Torah Tor Torah Emet, Vehayeola Natabet Ochenu, Barochata Adonai, Notena Torah. Who's the third Aliyah? Who's the third Amen. <laughs> 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 
ויהי בחצי הלילה ואדוני היכחו בכור בארץ מצרים מבכור פרעה היושב על כיסו עד בכור השביעי אשר בבית הבור בכור בכור בהמה ויקום פרעה לילה ובכל עבודה וכל מצרים בתהי צעקה גדולה במצרים כי אין בית אשר אין שם מת ויקרא למשה לארון לילה ויאמר קומו צאו מתוך עמי גם אתם גם בני ישראל ולכו עבדו את אדוני כדברכם גם צונכם גם בקרכם כחו כאשר דיברתם ולכו וברכתם גם אותי ברכו את אדוני המבורך, ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד, ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר בחר בנו מכל העמים, ונתן לנו את תורתו, ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן. אמן, ותחזק מצרים העם, למהר לשוחה מן הארץ, כי אמרו כולנו מתים. וייסע העם את בצקו טרם יחמץ משרתם, צרורות בשמלותם על שכמם, ובני ישראל עשו כדבר משה וישאלו ממצרים, כלי כסף וכלי זהב ושמלות, ואדוני נותן את חן העם בעיני מצרים וישילום וינצלו את מצרים. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת, וחיי עולם נטע בתוכנו. ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. אמן. As we are commanded to eat the Pesach sacrifice and the matzah, with our loins girded and our sandals on and our feet ready, we go out into the world recognizing that there are so many that are encumbered and oppressed and we in our community have taken on that responsibility of responding to the cries of those who would not otherwise be heard. In just a little over a month, the community is going to celebrate Ben, who is going to be acknowledged and recognized as this year's honoree at the Jewish World Watch gala event and we very much hope that you will come and support Ben, support this organization which is vital to the life of our community and celebrate and recognize that there are so many who come into Passover Seders and each and every day with their hands ready to bring justice and to share the hope that our people have carried forward throughout the generations to those who would be in despair who would experience a sense of hopelessness. It is our pride that Ben, who is from us and has learned with us all these years, will be recognized for his tireless efforts to respond to those of the world. Yishar Koach, and we'll see you in May, May 6th, yeah? May 8th, May 8th, that's Tuesday night. May 8th, Tuesday night, May, May 6th is here to celebrate Malka Shuweis, May 8th to celebrate Ben Resnick. It will be a great week to celebrate as a community. We continue now with the fifth Aliyah, chapter 12, verse 37. <laughs> בן בצלאל לעלייה החמישית
Sukota, Keshesh me o tele frogli, Hagvarim levad me taf, Vigam erevrava laitam, Vitsonu vakar, meek ne kaved me od, Bio fu et habat sek, Asher ho siu mimi traim, Ugot matsot kilo hamets, Kigor shu mimi traim, Velo yahlu le hit mamea, Vigam se dalo asulahem, Umoshav bene Israel, Asher Yashvu be Mitraim, Shloshim Shana, Bear Bameo Shana, Vayehi, Miket, Shloshim Shana, Bear Bameo Shana, Vayehi, Beetem Hayom Haze Yatsu, Coltsivot Adonai me Eretz Mitraim, Lel Shimurim Hula Donai, Lehotia me Eretz Mitraim, Halila Hazela Donai, Shimurim, Leho Bene Israel, Letorotam. Baruch Atah Amen. Vayomer Adonai El Moshe Beharon Zot Chukat Hapasech Kol Ben Nachar Lo Yochal Bo Vechol Eved Ish Miknat Kasef Umalta Oto Az Yochal Bo Tosha Vesachir Lo Yochal Bo Bevait Echad Yeachel Lo Totsi Min Habait Min Habasar Chutza Veetzem Lo Tishveru Kol Adat Yisrael Ya'asu Oto Baruch Atar Anoi Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Natan Lano Torah Temet Bechai Olam Nato Pitochinu Baruch Atar Anoi Noten HaTorah Yamdu Yivin David Melech Bela Hai Gabar Avram ve'yair al aliyah shvi'i Baruch Adonai 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 Amen. Vichyagurin chager veasafesach ladonai imolo chozachar veazikrav lasoto vehayak ezra chaaret vekolar lo yochalbo Torah adiyel azrach velager hagar betochem. Vayasu ko bene Israel, kasher tiva donai et Moshe vet aharon kenasu. Vayi the etem hayom haze hotzi donai et bene Israel meret mitraim al tivotam. Baruch Atah Adonai, Elohim Melech Olam, Asher Natan Lanu Torah Temet Bechayel Olam Natah Betochinu, Baruch Atah Adonai, Nuteinah Torah. 
יתגדל ויתקדש שמר הבא בעולמא דברא חירותי ואמליך מלכותי וחייכון וביומכון וחיי דכו בית ישראל בגלה בגלה ובזמן קריף וימרו אמן יש מרב המבורך לעולם המאומיה יתברך יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל שמי דה קודשה בריחו ולמין כל ברכתה ושירתה תוש ברכתה ונחמתה תמירם בעמה וימרו אמן יעמדו המגביה we ask everyone to rise as the first day for Torah is lifted and presented to the community. No, this is the first one. Yeah. Lift it. Down and up. Yeah. Down and up. Go. Go. As the Torah is wrapped and dressed, we ask everyone to take their seats. We turn now to page 931 in the book of Numbers of Bami Bar, chapter 28, verse 16. There we'll find the special reading for this Pesach holiday, and it is a reminder of all of the offerings that our ancestors brought to the temple in Jerusalem and on their journey toward freedom in the desert. And this is going to be chanted this morning by Linda Stern. Once again, page 931, the Maftir Aliyah, verse 16. <laughs> וויתר רחל בת משה ושרה מפטירות חזקו חזקו אשר בחר בנו מכל עמים, ונתן לנו את תורתו, ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. אמן. אמן, ובחודש הראשון, מארבע עשר, יום לחודש, פסח לאדוני, ובחמישה עשר יום, לחודש חזה חג, שבעת ימים יצאות מאחר. ביום הראשון מקרא קודש, כל מלאכת עבודה לא תעשו, והקרבתם אישי עולה לאדוני, פרים בני בקר, שניים ועיל אחד, ושבעה חבשים בני שנה, תמימים יהיו לכם. ומנחתם סולת בלולל ושמן, שלושה עשרונים לפר, ושני עשרונים לעיל תעשו, עשרון עשרון תעשה, לכבש האחד, לשבעה חפשים, וסיר חטאת אחד לכפר עליכם, 
Milgad olata boker, Ashele olata tamin, Tasu etele, Kahele, Tasu la yom, Shiva yamim, Lechem, Isha reach nichoach, Ladonai, Alolata tamin, Yaseven is co, Uba yom ashvi, Mikra kodeshi elachem, Komelechet avoda, Lota su. <laughs> we rise again as the second Torah is lifted and presented. Bezota Torah Asher Samahashe Lifne Bene Israel Alpi Adonai Biad Moshe. As the second Torah is dressed, we may take our seats. We'll find the Haftarah for this festival morning. Found beginning on page 1300, 1300. It's from the book of Joshua, chapter 3. And it is our pleasure to call forward the Bernstein women, Sylvia and Rachel, to come and chant the Haftarah for us. Once again, found on page 1300. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher bachar bin miim tovim Viratza v'divrehem hanemarim be'emet Baruch atah Adonai Habocher v'atorah uvmoshe abdo Uvisrael amo uvinvie ha'emet v'atzedem Vaetahi Amar Adonai El Yoshua Aselecha Harvoturim Veshuv Molepene Israel Shenit Veaslo Yehoshua Harvoturim Vayama Lepene Israel El Givatar Alot Vezehadavar Asher Mo Yoshua Kolam ayotze, mimitraim has karim, kol anshe amilchama, metu vamidvar ba derech, betzeitam mimitraim, kimulim hayu kolam ayotzim, bekolam ayelodim vamidvar ba derech, betzeitam mimitraim lo malu. Ki arbaim shana, al chuvin Israel bamidvar, atom kol agoy, anshei amilchama, ayotzim imitzrayim, asher lo shamu bechol Adonai, asher nishpa Adonai lahem, levilti arotam et aretz. Asher nishpa Adonai lavotam Lated lanu eret zavad chalav udevash Vepinehem hekim tachtam motam o Yehoshua Ki arelim hayu ki lo malu otam badarech Vayi kasher tamu kol agoy leimol Vayishvu tachtam b'machane adayotam. And the Lord said unto Joshua this day, Have I rolled away the reproach of Egypt from off you? Wherefore the name of that place was called Gilgal unto this day. 
and the children of Israel encamped in Gilgal, and they kept the Passover on the 14th day of the month, at even in the plains of Jericho. And they did eat of the produce of the land on the morrow after the Passover, unleavened cakes and parched corn in the selfsame day. And the manna ceased on the morrow after they had eaten of the produce of the land. Neither had the children of Israel manna any more, but they did eat of the fruit of the land of Canaan that year. And it came to pass when Joshua was in Jericho that he lifted up his eyes and looked and behold, there stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went unto him and said unto him, Art thou for us or for our adversaries? And he said, Nay, but I am captain of the host of the Lord. I am now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and bowed down and said unto him, What sayeth my Lord unto his servant? And the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua, Put off thy shoe from off thy foot, for the place whereon thou standest is holy. And Joshua did it so. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. So the Lord was with Joshua, and his fame was in all the land. <clears throat> Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Halam Tzur Kol Halomim Tzadik Bukhol Hadorot Ha'el Ha'nehman Ha'omer V'yoseh Ha'mdaber Ha'makayim Shekol Devarav Emet Vatzedek Nema'ahana Tohu Adonai Eloheinu V'na'amanim Devarech Villain. <laughs> Luba nefesh toshiach bimhe ravi amenu baruch ata adonai misamech tion bivanecha samhenu adonai eloheinu bieliahu hanavi avdecha uv malhut beit david mishihecha bimhe rayavo viageli benu Al kokisho yo yeshev zar velo yin halu od aharim et kavodo kivishem kachicha binish batalo shelo yichbech nirov leolam boed baruch ato adonai magain David al haTorah vi al haAvoda vi al hanvim. The Al Yom Hakshabat Hazer, the Al Yom Hahad Matsot Hazer, Shena Tata Lahanu, Adonai Eloheinu, Lik to Shabalim Nuha, Lissason Ulsimha, Lichavod Ulti Fared, Al Hakol Adonai Eloheinu, Anach Nu Modim Lach, Uber Him Otah. Yit barak shim ha ba fikol ha ta mid le olam ba ed baruch ato adonai 
Mekadesh HaShabbat Vayisroel Vayinim That is kosher for Passover candy. That was like premature... Uh, what do you call that? Pre- <laughs> that was a little bit premature ejection of the candy. <laughs> Yossi, you're excited. I'm excited for you too. Thank you very much, Sylvia and Rachel, for reading a, a beautiful after for this morning. And to all of our Torah readers, to Linda Stern for doing the Moftir, for Jack Barak and Adam Binder, Diane Nitzan, and Janice Kamen Resnick, we are very grateful for your preparation and your beautiful chanting of the Torah this morning. We now close our Red Books. We turn to page 151. We welcome our resident Ashray chanter, Juliet Hamadi, coming back from discovering the truths of the universe up at Berkeley to just tell us the truths of the universe in the Ashray prayer. We return to our prayers together. Once again, page 151, following her. Asheam Shikahalo, Asheam Shadonai Eloha, Tahiba the David, Aromim Halo, Hai Hamelech, Baba Hashim Halilam Bahed, Behoyam Avarheka, Baalela Shim Halilam Bahed. Door <laughs> so Shomer Adonai Kolo Abav, Ekor Shaim Yashmid. Tehilat Adonai Taper Pi, Ivarach Kumbasar Shim Kotsholi Lam Baed. Vanach Nune Varechia, Meatabiad Olam, Alleluia. The Shabbat and this festival holiday we turn towards those in our family, in our circle of friends and community who are in need of healing at this time. We pray for their recovery of body and spirit. We acknowledge their names in our midst and hope that our prayers reach them with the fullness of our joy in this holiday to bring them complete healing. Avotin Avraham Yitzhak Yaakov, Vimno Tenosa Rivka Rachav Leia, Hu Yivarev, Yerpe Kolocholim, Kilatenu Hagadosha. You who bless our ancestors at the sea and in the desert, bless these ill friends through us, your witnesses. Give us the wisdom to impart to them courage and hope. Let them know that they have in our holy community men, women, and children who pray for the skill of the physician, who pray for their recovery of body and spirit. Our prayers go to Rivka Rezel Bachifra, Jacques Asor, Chaim Ben Leib, Taya Bar Esther, Yaakov Sha'ul Ben Yafa, Chana Bar Rachel, Shpinze Bat Ruth, Benesh Ben Devora, 
Batya Bat Yichin, Avi Doran, Moshe Lazer Ben Sion Ben Rivka, Joyce Kishnev, Charlotte Lane, Alan Shalit, Arlene Friedman, Rela Bat Sivia, Avitsur Ben Ruth, Rev Dov Ben Zissel, Rochelle Handelis, Terry Ellis, Eti Bat Fortuna, Mayor David Ben Toby, Pinchas Ben Edel, Scott Howard, Alta Bat Esther, Daniela Lea Bat Hind, Yaakov Ben Farhang, Elliot Horowitz, Mort Sudek, Don Newmark, Robert Schwartz, Marilyn Bronstein, Myrna Wax, Sheva Bat Rivka, Philip Bronson, Marsha Jacobs, Shalom Eliezer Ben Label, Naomi Bat Shendel, David Janes, Bob Cohen, David Casson, Cynthia Jacobson, Eden Bat Michal, and Ela Groden, Malka, Natanya, Bat Chana, Tzipora, Vinoa. For all those in your family who are also in need of healing, we ask you to call their name and to focus as we continue our prayer as a community. We pray to teach us to remember your words out of the void and vastness of the darkness. Let there be light and let there be complete healing for all those who suffer at this time. We say, Amen, Rifuah Shlema, for those who need it. We invite those who have been honored with replacing the Sifrei Torah to join us up on the Bima. We turn now to page 153. We ask everyone to rise as the Torot are replaced. Shame on I, he is God. Shemo, Levando, holy though, alas. Shalom, 
There's a lot of As the arc doors are closed, please take your seats. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. A couple of years ago, a man by the name of Yuval Levin wrote a book called The Fractured Republic. And in the book, he is trying to capture kind of the mood of, of the day and the tension that is underlying so much of our public discourse, whether it's in the political sphere or it's in the cultural sphere or it's in the social sphere, all of these divisions that are existing in this particular time, he tries to identify the origins which might have set about the conditions which have created the moment in which we find ourselves today. And in the book, one of the theses is that there is a, a sense of nostalgia. This is the word that he uses. Nostalgia for a time, particularly in this country, when Despite the political division that you might feel with your neighbor, your outlook might be diametrically opposed to the person sitting right next to you. There was this sense of togetherness, the sense of being that post-war, World War II America nurtured and encouraged in our society. And he uses that as the foundation to begin to discuss something that is really the underlying cause. Not the sense of nostalgia that there is a, an ideal time in which America was 
happy. And by comparison, our day is not happy. But what he identifies is that the dramatic revolutionary changes that have been evolving since that time of great nostalgia have created a world in which the individual, the self, the sovereign self as we have identified in our conversations, has become the single most important determining factor in all public and social discourse. What is good for me? How do I feel? Our world today supports this rugged pursuit of individualism in a way that is unprecedented. In the constant barrage of information and of truth that is seemingly available to us, it only takes a very careful, we use the word curated approach to that information so that you can receive a truth that supports the way that you see the world. And even if it challenges it, if it gives you a sense of pause about the way that you feel, it's still your own creation about that truth. And if someone were to present an opposing point of view to you, all you simply have to do is turn off, shut down, and walk the other way. This is Levin's thesis. The nostalgia that we have is a desire to go back to a time when we were all together because the feeling that we have is that we are so incredibly atomized, divided, molecular in our organization that we have no possible way of coming together to be as one. Last night we sat down and we began to tell a different story. It's no mistake that this is the quintessential Jewish moment certainly for American Jews, but all around the world. And in that experience of more Jews participating in a Seder than any other Jewish event throughout the year, we welcome the conversation of what really is the togetherness that is being created. Are we nostalgic? for a time gone by? Or are these messages compelling us towards a newer, more hopeful, more possible tomorrow? That is indeed the Jewish message. We have this possibility of becoming, of transforming. Just take a look at the Seder. It says, Halachma Anya, this is the bread of affliction. And there we say, Kodichvin, Yeteva Yifsach. Anybody who is hungry is welcome to come into this space and eat. Our nostalgia is that no matter where we are, no matter where we've come from, no matter who our identity is, is most closely associated with, we have a place at the table, and the doors are open, and we sit down. And if you read closely, it says something extraordinary. This year we are slaves. Next year we might be free. What a tremendous paradox. We start the Seder, we're commanded to sit and recline and be comfortable. We begin to tell the story and we say, this is the bread of affliction. And when we say this is the bread of affliction, we say we are slaves. Wait a minute. What are we? Are we free people that are sitting down at a Seder comfortably and reclining and eating karpas? 
Because that's what free people do? Or are we the slaves? This question has been asked again and again throughout the generations. I call to mind a great friend of this community, a great friend of Rabbi Shuwais. His name is Leonard Fine, Label Fine, the founder of Mazon. He picks up this question and he says, this year we are slaves. How could it possibly be we are not enslaved? And I think he brings for us a very powerful and a very recurrent theme that we find in our Passover Seder tables. We sit down and we tell a story of how any one of us who is enslaved compels us to tell the story of our responsibility to liberate, our responsibility to make those who are enslaved free. And until that happens, we are all enslaved. This is the message that has been taught to us from Label Fine, from Abraham Joshua Heschel, from our own Rabbi Shuweis. It is the message of the day. We sit down at our seders and we say, we are slaves because there are still those who suffer. We need to listen to that voice. You need to listen to that voice because it has been told again and again and again in recent memories as if it has now reached a level of nostalgia on its own. Jews are the ones who answer the call to oppression all around the world. And when we sit down at our Seder and we are the most ready as a whole community, it is a call to action. Stand up from your Seder table. So this voice calls us and go out into the world and bring the healing to anywhere there is suffering. That is that voice. And yet, there's the voice of comfort. You're supposed to lean to the left. It's not only practical because of how you digest the food, but you lean to the left as if to promote better circulation of your body because that's what free people can do. This is a holiday not only to think about outside, but to think about inside. And freedom is this capacity to recognize where you are and to be comfortable with where you are, and to appreciate the freedom that you have. It's almost a paradox. It's as if, on the one hand, we are commanded to stand up with our loins girded, and our sandals ready, and our staves ready, and to march out of the houses, and to go out and act into the world. But at the same time, we are told to be comfortable and to relax and to, re- to appreciate all the freedom that we do have. It's in this paradox that we begin to tell the story. This year we are slaves. Next year we might be free. The story is one of becoming. And if there is this thing called nostalgia for Jews, it is not a recurring memory of what our experience was. We don't sit down at our Seder tables to tell the story of how we were slaves and we remember the toil and we remember the oppression and that's the end of the story. We remember that we are free. I think Yuval Levin that writer of the Fractured Republic made a very insightful observation that we are living in a time where we wish that things were comfortable as they used to be. And yet, we are living in a time where that kind of comfort is impossible. It is impossible. The Jewish response is the one that we take away from this holiday. This year we are slaves. Next year we are free. We have nostalgia from our history. We remember from whence we came. 
but it is only so that we may turn towards where we are yet to go. We must write that story. And it's important that as you sit down at your Seder tables tonight, and as the days unfold for the holiday, that you carry forward this question, not how are you going to leave the Seder with your loin girded, your staff in your hand, and the sandals ready to run towards freedom. But how will you sit in your comfort? And how will you make your freedom that possibility for a world of hope? How will you make your comfort that opportunity to be a part of a world that is more whole. How will you become whole? How will you move from the division and the fractures and the atomization of individual being and find your way to a community, a people, a collective story, a message of hope. My prayer is that as Pesach begins and unfolds for us, the call to action is not yet another scream and cry for the oppression that exists around us. But it is indeed the affirmation of the freedom that we continue to enjoy. Celebrate our freedom. Stand up for our freedom. Protect our freedom. And share our vision of freedom with those who may not yet see it themselves. This would be a most meaningful Pesach holiday. As I wish it is for all of you and your families. I wish you a Zisim Pesach, Hag Sameach to you. We turn now into our Musa prayers as one body, as one community, first on page 155 with the Chatsi Kaddish, and then page 217 at the bottom of the page for the Musaf Amidah, because we will be reciting the prayers for Tal and ushering in this season of spring, it is our custom to welcome the cantor forward dressed in white, like on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And it is our custom to open up the Arona Kodesh as these prayers are recited. <laughs> Vita la vita la, 
Liber 
לך ולא לקללה. אמן. לחיים ולא למוות. אמן. לסוף ולא doors are closed we remain standing turning to the middle of page 166 B <laughs> Come 
ביום ההוא יהיה אדוני אחד ושמו אחד ודברי קודשך כתוב לאמור Our silent prayers now continue on page 170 through page 178. Please include the special insertions into your prayers for the festival of Pesach as well as for Shabbat, all those words in parentheses. Once again, page 170.
As you conclude your prayers, you may take your seats. May the Lord, who hears our prayer, from his dwelling place of high, bless all people everywhere. With peace, with peace, shalom, yase shalom. Shalom Aleinu, Ve'al Kol Yisrael, Yase Shalom, Yase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, Ve'al Kol Yisrael, Yase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, Ve'al Kol Yisrael, Yase Shalom, Yase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu. Page one hundred eighty one. Shalom We rise again together, page 183. <laughs> those who are in a period of mourning to remain standing as the congregation takes their seats once again. You'll find the yard sites, those names that we lovingly remember beginning on this Pesach holiday through the 21st of Nisan through the end of the holiday. And they are found on the back of our Shabbaton booklets there. 
We ask all those who are also in a period of mourning, whether it's in this first year of mourning, or you're in the 30 days of mourning, or you're grieving the loss of a loved one in recent past, to turn to page 184 and join with us together as we recite Kaddish Yatom. Git Kadal V'yit Kadash Shemei Raba Ba'ama Dibrach Yirutei V'yamlich Malchutei V'chayechon V'yomechon V'chaye Dekho Beit Yisrael Pagala Uvizman Kariv Imru Amen Yesh Me Raba Mevorach Le'olam Olamei Omaya Yiparach V'yishtabach V'yipar V'yitromam V'yitnaseh Vita dar vit ale vita la shmeri kudsha berichu leila minko bechata vashirata tush bechata venechemata damiram belma vimru ame yehesh lama rava min shamaya vachaim vialko israel vimru ame o se shalom bimromav hu ya se shalom Alenu v'alko Yisrael v'imru. Amen. Yes, so uh, we're standing to please take your seats, and it's my pleasure to call forward Dr. Ron Ryder, our Gabbai Rishon, to welcome us and to make a few brief announcements. Thank you, Rabbi Hoffman, and thank you for leading us in services this morning. I'd like to also mention Rabbi Feinstein is on the bima, and Rabbi Farkas is with his family sitting right here in the sanctuary. Thank you also to Hazen Fox and to Yossi Dresner and to Chris Harden. Um, immediately after services, Kiddush will be in Glazer Hall. There's no partial discussion uh, group today. Um, Mincha Meyer will be tonight at 5 o'clock, not 6 o'clock, but at 5 o'clock in, uh, in the chapel. Uh, last night, we were all leaving Egypt, and we're here today. Uh, tonight we'll be leaving Egypt again, and services will be tomorrow morning once again at 9.30, so if you can do it once, you can do it twice. And again, uh, on Friday, there will be Yontif services at 9.30 for the second to last day of Yontif, and a special treat next Saturday, a very important day here at the Shul. Uh, there will be the adult B'nai Mitzvah and Yisker, so that'll be next Saturday morning. Also, Yossi at 9.30? 9.15. So Haksamea to everyone. Shabbat Shalom and Haksamea. We give congratulations for brevity. Thank you very much, Dr. Ryder, for the most efficient announcements today. We welcome our bat mitzvah for Shoshana. She's going to recite Kiddush for us. If you want to follow along, it's on page 335 because it is the festival. We recite a few extra prayers. And so it is our custom to stand together, join arm in arm, as we conclude our Shabbat and holiday morning services together, wishing everybody Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach.
Asher Malach, Beterem Kol Yitzir Nivra, Liet Nasa Vechef Sokol, Azai Melech Shemo Nikra, Liet Nasa Vechef Sokol, Azai Melech Shemo Nikra, Veacharei Kichlot Hakol, Levado Yimlok Nora, Veho Haya, Veho Hove, Veho Yevetifara, Veho Haya, Veho Hove, Veho Yevetifara, Veho Eli. Vichai go ali, vitsur chevli vieit sara, vihu nisi humanosli, vinat go si be yo mekra, vihu nisi humanosli, vinat go si be yo mekra. The <laughs> Yahadu <laughs> 